All right, welcome to our quick review of acids and bases. Why are we reviewing this? Because pH is an incredibly important uh, parameter for biochemical systems. We will look over and over and over this semester at how pH um, affects the various molecules we're looking at. Our basic Acid-base definition we'll most often use is the Bronsted-Lowry definition. We said acids are proton donors. We can see that right here. Here is our strong acid, hydrochloric acid. And we see it reacts with water to give away a proton. Water accepts the proton, becomes H3O+, and that acid now is the deprotonated version. So really, we have two versions of each molecule, the protonated version, the acid, the deprotonated version. Let's look down here at bases. So bases are proton acceptors. We have NH3, and we see when it reacts with water, it becomes NH4+. plus. It accepted a proton. This is a base. And this would be its conjugate acid. Conjugate acid bases always differ by one proton. And again, they're like two forms of the same molecule. It's a protonated version. In this case, that ammonium ion is the protonated version and a deprotonated version, the NH3. When you look here, water up here is accepting a proton. It's acting as a base. Water here is donating a proton. So water can be an acid or a base. When we talk about how acidic or a basic a solution is, we're really comparing those concentrations of H plus and hydroxide. When we write H plus, it's shorthand. What really exists is that hydronium ion. OK, we see that if we've got more H plus than hydroxide, it's acidic, less H plus, it's basic, neutral has equal amounts. As we're talking about those concentrations, they're usually small decimal type uh, numbers, and we don't love that. So we use a pH scale. When we see that lowercase p, it means negative log of. So pH would be the negative log of the hydro, um, hydronium ion concentration. POH negative log of the hydroxide ion concentration. Okay, so if we have a higher concentration of H plus, it's going to mean a lower pH, right? And then that's going to mean more acidic. Okay, we saw that water can be an acid or a base, and here we see that water can react with another water molecule. One donates a proton, so it's acting as an acid. The other accepts it, and we get hydronium and hydroxide. So remember way back when we talked about equilibrium, we talked about equilibrium expressions, products over reactants. We said uh, liquids and solids don't get factored in. So our K expression, our equilibrium constant expression, would just be hydronium times hydroxide concentration. And we find that that equals this value at 25 degrees Celsius. We put the little W there. That means the autoionization of water. It tells you what reaction this is for. Notice that means, by the way, as one goes up, because hydronium times hydroxide equals a constant, if the hydronium ion concentration goes up, hydroxide has to go down. Okay? And that makes sense. If you think about our Le Chatelier's principle, if you add this solution in equilibrium and then you add a bunch of hydronium to it, that system's going to try to fix its equilibrium by scooting it back that way. And it may still have more hydronium, but it's using up some of that hydroxide. So as one goes up, the other goes down. All right, so we have a bunch of different equations. We already looked at the pH ones. We looked at Kw. And if you take the negative log of that Kw expression, you'll find that pH plus pOH equals 14. That's at 25 degrees C. All right, so let's talk about weak acids. So HCl was a strong acid. We expect we put it in water, 100% will ionize. But now we're going to look at mostly weak acids. So I have a generic weak acid, HA, reacting with water. I'm going to expect it to come to equilibrium. So I use my equilibrium arrows. I expect it to donate a proton. So water will accept the proton and become H3O plus. And I'm left with A minus. So here I have a conjugate acid base pair. They differ by one proton. We've got the protonated version, the deprotonated version. Okay. 
And not all weak acids are the same. Some are stronger, some ionize more, give away more protons, some are weaker. So that equilibrium expression will help us with that. So when I look at that, I'm gonna say K, it's gonna be hydronium products over reactants, it's A minus over HA. And because this is for an acid reacting with water, I'm going to put a little subscript A there, Ka. That tells you that that's for that acid reacting with water. If we look at the Ka scale, Ka0 means essentially no protons. We've got essentially a spectator ion. Ka equals infinity would mean essentially all products. Did I say no protons? Anyway, spectator ion, Ka0, no products in that reaction that we looked at last time. Ka infinity all products, so that would be a strong acid. We don't even report Ka values for strong acids. And then all along here are weak acids. If I look at these two Ka values and I think about that Ka expression, this one, the higher value would have more products, it means it ionized more, means it's the stronger acid. All right, so the higher Ka value is the stronger acid, more ionization. Okay. Just like with the hydronium ion, we don't love these types of numbers. Um, we'd rather work with like whole numbers. So we do the pKa. We take the negative log, so that little lowercase p. So pKa equals negative log of the Ka. When I do that for these um, numbers, I find that the pKa for the nitrous acid is 3.4. This one's 9.2. So I can see that the lower pKa value is the stronger acid. All right, that was your super quick, hopefully, review of acids and bases.